we are literally in a climate crisis. This isn't climate change anymore. This is a climate crisis. You feel so hopeless. What can I do to help this planet? If this is something that is affecting you, just to let you know that you're not the only one that's feeling this way. Being environmentally friendly and doing your bit towards helping the current climate crisis is just taking little steps, one step at a time, one foot in front of the other. Plastic waste can be so harmful to marine life and when we put plastic in the bin, you never really know where it goes. It really is worth trying to reduce consumption as well as to recycle packaging. I personally try to shop for products with as low packaging waste as possible. So I will take my own containers to refill shops and you can refill them with anything from food, laundry detergent, hair products, you name it. I didn't want to go fully vegan because I was a massive meat and dairy eater before changing my diet. I decided to cut out dairy and red meat. However, I still eat eggs and fish. But you're allowed to treat yourself. You don't have to limit yourself and say, I can never have this thing ever again. Say goodbye to steaks and goodbye to burgers and goodbye to cheese balls. It's just about cutting down and taking little steps one at a time to do your bit. For me, the best way to develop this sense of appreciation and hope is to make a personal connection with nature and the natural world. Personally, I make sure to walk within nature, such as woodlands, beaches, hills or cliffs, regularly. I genuinely believe that the more young people develop a feeling of empowerment and appreciation for the natural world, the more autonomy we have as a generation of the direction of the planet and its sustainability. Another thing I did was I cut down how many clothes I bought. I mean, I've got a massive wardrobe, I've got plenty of clothes, I do not need to be buying more dresses. Imogen, you do not need those boots, put them down, look away, walk out of Primark. When I looked deeper into the negative effects that fast fashion had on the environment, I decided that I was gonna do my little bit and try not to purchase as much fast fashion. Trust me, you find some gems in charity shops. But like I said, it's not about cutting things out of your life completely. I obviously still buy new clothes from time to time. something that I do quite a lot is literally just walk and I kind of decline a, an offer for a lift as much as I can because it just reduces the carbon footprint and obviously that's a big thing because the more cars that are out there the more carbon emissions are going to be produced. I'm not saying stop getting cars all the time because that's pretty much impossible but short journeys like going into town, going to work, going to school, going to college, university, share transport or don't use the transport at all walk by foot and get much fitter and healthier. We all need to be able to find the balance between not doing anything at all and not caring about it to trying to do too much because we feel guilty and we feel worried about what's going on. It's really important not to get bogged down in negative feelings and instead to try and turn them into action of what we can do to make a difference. I feel that we will be the generation that makes a positive change and this fills me with a lot of hope and optimism. Be environmentally friendly, recycle, turn your lights off, do your part. Peace out.